Hey everybody, I am so excited to be continuing doing my podcast, Dream Big, in my new studio, uh, my house. <laughs> and my first guest in my new studio, six feet apart, is my good friend, Arika. Arika, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me in your home. It's so beautiful here and it's like such a nice day. I love it. Oh, well, I'm just so excited to see you. We, me and Arika would bump into each other a lot pre-COVID doing events and just being out supporting our friends in the beauty industry and the fashion industry and this is so weird because i haven't seen you in four months and i'm seeing you in a really different context a different environment because we used to always see each other at parties right. and we're like oh my gosh hey right like drinking champagne maybe or like having a yeah. little snack and like trying on products and things like that so it's just really different because like this is just way more calm right <laughs> quiet. i know we're both very calm and quiet and before we started recording you guys we have been talking about how much our life has changed in the time of quarantine, COVID. Um, you know, I know my life has changed a lot because I've kind of been spending time to just like heal uh, with certain stuff I've been dealing with and just evolve. And I know you kind of said you've been dealing doing the same, yeah. right? Well, I've, I live by myself. My family actually lives in LA, like not too far away. So I've been hanging out with them a lot, just keeping it very like close knit right. family, like no, like really like hanging out with friends or anything like that, because I mean, we can't, you know, right. and um, before I didn't really get to spend that much time with my family because every night I had an event and every night I'm like right. planning like the next night right, or the next right. day. So now, you know, my nephew who's five years old was like, oh my gosh, I miss you. And I'm so glad I could see you more. Like he noticed, you know, noticed. and it's so crazy because I didn't think about that before. Right. Cause it's like, okay, I'll go, I'll go on a Sunday when I have like nothing to do, or I right. don't have an event or I don't have a spray tan or I don't have this and nails and all right. of that, you know? And now it's like, I don't have to worry so much about all of the things that are coming up and I get to really relax and right. like, take the time to like spend time with my family and also spend time with myself really. Now I've known you for so long. Like I remember when so you like long. just started, like we go back, I would say 10 years. Um, I would love for you to share a story about how you've built a brand. Cause you've built a big name for yourself on YouTube, on Instagram. A lot of people know your name. Um, they follow you cause they love to see how you do your makeup, how you, you know, your lifestyle from working out what you're eating. I think people are fascinated about how influencers have made it happen. Like, how did you start your brand? Well, I have been following you for a long time and oh. I love Diana so much. So I actually started hosting first, just like how, I mean, you're like right. this like epic, iconic host. But I started hosting first. I went to school at USC for broadcast journalism. Annenberg. Because, yeah, Annenberg. By the way, I never got into that school. <laughs> no, but you like, <laughs> to, get into, to get into the Annenberg School of Communications is a big deal, you guys. Like, not everybody could get in. You have to be so smart to get in. So, like, if Arika got into that school, you guys know, like, she is a smart person because it's hard to get into that school. I got denied. Well, she, like, surpassed the levels of grad school at Annenberg because you are like doing so much but I did go to the school to like perfect my skills and learn about broadcast journalism because I was like you know what I want to be a host I want right. to like write stories and tell tell them you know how it's supposed to like very like objectively and everything like that so that's why I went to school and I wanted to be a host so I started like posting videos and like editing my own and I had the microphone the camera and mm -hmm. everything like Basically, it's called a one man, man band. Like, right. You know, you do it by yourself. So I did that, and then people weren't really watching my professional, like, hey guys, right. like, or not even hey guys. Because right, like, when we started, that's what you had to so do. Pro, right. Like, professional. Polish, yeah. yeah. And people weren't really watching it. They thought it was like so, I think, structured. Right. So I started posting like makeup and fashion and very casual, like fun stuff, like what to wear, what to, wear to Coachella or what to wear to hang out with their right. friends at a party and things like that. So I noticed that people were watching those type of videos more. Yeah. And that's how I kind of built the YouTube following. It was more like just things that I liked, right. like hobbies, makeup, right. shoes, clothes. People love seeing your life. Like you've done a lot of vlogs and like people love watching like how you do things and like how your life is. I mean, I love watching other people's vlogs right. too. I'm like, oh, they redecorated their room or like, right. oh, they, you know, like, I <laughs> like love this is watching. my dining room right now. <laughs> I love it. I love like their home tours and everything because I think it's so interesting yeah. to see how other people live as well. And 
how other people live not in LA too. It's like, right. oh, well, you know, their place is like so big. So I like watching other people's vlogs as well. And I just kind of, it was a hobby that turned into my job. But was, so you build a brand just because you're passionate about what you were posting about. I was just really into makeup and clothes and I just kept posting about it and people started to like it. But what I went to school for was, it's kind of similar, they kind of overlap, but it was more like, T talking about news stories. Right. So it was similar, but then I just started talking about stuff that I like. Yeah. And so your passion and it yeah. was like, it was organic because it's things that you would do. I just really whether you're getting paid it. or not. Yeah. 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 And then I started getting like free clothes and makeup and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Cause I was spending like hundreds, like basically like anything that I ever got paid right. from like hosting or modeling, I used that check to buy makeup. You know, it's like, I mean, you know, NARS makeup's lipsticks, not everything, cheap. yeah, like everything is like expensive. So I used all of that to buy makeup and then I started posting tutorials and things like that. So that's how I kind of built my YouTube audience yeah. and, you know, the females that are like, oh, well, I like how you do your makeup or I like how yeah. you wear this. And then so then I love like, how you do, do your makeup today. Thank you. Please do a tutorial on this. Okay. Because it's like, it's like my everyday makeup, kind of just like bronzy. I'm right. actually wearing artist couture supreme nudes yes our shout Angel. out i'm actually wearing it too i love his supreme nudes palette it's, it's so, so good. good the pigments are so amazing shout out to him like because i actually met mac daddy angel the same time i met arika so it's like it's it's like a full circle yeah we all Every met yeah we all met at the same time um i love how you are one of the influencers that are thriving during this time <laughs> i don't think so well i'm saying that because you are constantly uh changing and shifting your content to match what is gonna help people during this crazy time of uncertainty you're full of optimism i feel like when i see you working out i sort of got i kid you not you inspire me you influence me to get up and work out and that shows a lot because there's like days where I don't want to get out of bed because I'm like, what's the point, right? Yeah. And I'm like, another day, Groundhog Day. And then I see you working out and, you know, you're doing your thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up and take a walk. Um, let's talk about how you're transitioning yeah. at this time. So at the beginning of quarantine, the gyms were announced at, as, you know, they're going to close. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Because aside from makeup, all the all the glam and the nails and the hair and the tanning and everything that I do, the gym was like my escape right. from the glamorous life yeah, of Eureka. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I was like, oh my gosh, because I did yoga, like I did Pilates, I um, I ran, I did hiking, I did a bunch of like workout stuff like every single day. Like that was how I started my morning, and I was like, how am I not gonna be able to go to the gym? Right, like we can't go. So my trainers were also freaking out, but my trainers, you know, they work at the gym and they get paid, but they weren't going to get paid anymore. And they were like, what can we do? And then I just hit up my trainers and I was like, hey, like, I need to work out every day. I'm going to do it whether you want to do it with me or not. Right. So do you want to like do it together on my Instagram live? Right. And they were like, yes. And then I did one and then my... I have like several different I did your girl first trainers. One. I, yeah. did her, I did her first one. I was there to support. I was like, I'm in, count me in. Yeah. <laughs> so then several other trainers that I work out with were like, let me do it too. Let me do it too. Let me do it too. Let me. And I'm like, okay. So I had like five different female right. trainers lined up to do my Instagram live with me. And I was like, okay, this is fun. And people would message me being like, oh my gosh, like I feel so connected to you. I'm like, really? Like, like, I mean, Yes, we are connected. Yes, you follow me. Yes, like we talk and whatnot. But like, I didn't think that like a workout for like 30, 40 right. minutes would like really inspire right. another person. And they told me that. And I was like, you know what? I'll just keep doing it. So I just kept doing it, you know, whenever I had time and also whenever um, my trainers had time. And they started doing Zoom classes. So I started doing that. I started promoting them. Some of them released different products. Actually, a lot of people release products during... Right. Quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah. yeah. So they release products. So I'll talk about that and like promote that. And I just felt like, you know, putting on makeup and doing a look is it's it's cute and it's perfect and but you know I love it. But it's like I felt like that wasn't what I wanted to share at this moment. Right. Like, look at my look. It's like, do people really care? No, people do don't know what is. Yeah. So then I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do these workout 
t videos and I was doing Instagram lives and I did like, I recorded them, I put it on YouTube and then um, I started my blog, but I had my blog from like ancient, like days I'm so ago. happy you relaunched your blog. <laughs> yeah. You guys have to check it out. Um, um, I'm telling you guys, like, it's a must. It's like on my daily read. You guys have to check it out. You're so cute. Yeah, yeah it's just my first last name, arikasato.com. Sato. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a long time ago when, like, you started before me, but when I started my career, like when I was in grad school, my entertainment career, I just had the blog as, like, a website. And it was a blog, but it was just, like, what I was doing, like, events and stuff like that. And then you know, as like YouTube and Instagram became like more of a thing for everyone. Right. I was like, uh, what's the point of this blog? Like no one goes to it because everyone's always on Instagram, YouTube. So right. why should I keep doing it? So I chained it to a store and I was like selling products and I'm going to still do that too. But then I wanted a different medium. I wanted to write. Yeah. And I feel Just like, like express yeah. your creativity. I feel like writing for me has become during quarantine, uh, even as simple as writing in my journal in the morning, it's just like putting it out, like therapeutic, right? Yeah. Isn't it I, therapeutic it, when it's you write? It's super therapeutic. I love it so much. And that's what I went to school for as well. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to write. And the audience is different because when I want something or lo I'm looking for something like how to do this or what to do this or what you Google something, you right. usually end up on a blog, right? Like yeah, you end you up on some, some Even kind on of Even on Pinterest, I'm like looking for something and I end up on a blog. So yeah. I wanted that type of audience, not just like somebody that's like, oh, let me like watch like a gossip video or let me watch yeah. like a, you know, instant like eye tutorial or something like that. Right. I wanted like an audience that was like, you know what, let me sit down and like look up, you know, the benefits of right. lemon water, right. you know, or let me look up a vegan cauliflower rice dish or, you know, Yum. like. Like, yeah, yeah, or like <laughs> you know, like or like best breakfast or something yeah. like that. That's like healthy and you know gives you energy to work out. Right, so and it's I, a part of your lifestyle. You're sharing like a part of your lifestyle that you probably never shared before. It's it was kind of behind closed doors. Yeah, because YouTube videos I can show it, but like sometimes people don't have time to like right watch the whole video and then land on where I cook something or right. land on where I you know I style something. But the blog is like like self-explanatory. Right. It's like this is the perfect bag for every day, you know? So right. that's why I just was like, you know what? I'm going to do it again. And Good. it's so Good much fun. You. And I love it because it's just different from the same like pictures yeah. and videos, right. you know? I was like, you know what? I want to do a blog. So that's why I, I I'm so happy it. you launched it because I think um, during this time in COVID and quarantine, I think we're all realizing like, what is it that you want to share with the world, right? It's no longer like about... Um, just doing things for doing it. I think right now everybody's like, what is the purpose of my life? What am I, you know, good at? What do I want to share with people? How am I going to help people? And I feel like you're, you're doing that with your blog because you're coming from a place of service of like, I want to share stuff that's going to help people find out like what the best vegan cauliflower dish is and how they can make it at home on a budget or whatever, you know? Yeah. So um, I like that you're doing that. Don't you feel like everything's coming from a place of like, what am I doing for people rather yeah. than before you were just doing it? Before I didn't even have time to like sit down and, and think. think like, yeah. I'm sure you, like you were like, you, I mean, me you and you are, had the same schedule. You are the, she's the busiest person in the we, whole world. Me and Erika had the same <laughs> schedule. We would go someplace and see each other. Hey, how are you? Hi. And then we'd we'll be like, okay, I'll see you later. And then I would go to another event and then Erika would show up the same time. And be like, hi, we're at the same, like we had the same schedule before. <laughs> yeah, because we had to show support to the brand yeah. and say hi to everyone. Make sure like, you know, you say, say hi to every single person that you know. And right. then you're like, okay, okay, got to go next, you know, got to right. go next. And then, so before I never had time to think. And I'm sure like with your kids and all your businesses, you probably had zero time to think. And before I was like, just waiting. You know, I was robotic. It wasn't it was even like, next, like next, it was next, like, yeah. yeah, next, next, next. Like it was very robotic. And now, sorry, that's my dog pushing the camera. But now I literally, I'm starting to say no to things because I'm just like, if it doesn't make sense, I have to say no. So if let's say I get offered something, I'm like, if I'm going to promote that during quarantine, it just doesn't make sense. I'm going to yeah. look like an idiot. Like, no, no, no. I think before I was very, the word I'm going to use is like, it was very desperate, but it wasn't, I wasn't thinking desperate. It was just like desperate kind of like stuff. Like I would say yes to everything. Now I'm like, no, I shouldn't be saying yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But I don't even think you were like probably sitting down and thinking like, no, okay, I wasn't. Yeah, it's like, okay, cool. Like right. brand deal, whatever. Like, let's right. just do it really quick. Get it done. Get it done. Blam, yeah. Let's go. Like it right. was like that. It's like a boom, 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 boom. Kind right. of like that LA like lifestyle. Just like quick, quick, quick. quick, quick. Everything was like quick, yeah. quick, quick. It no was, type of thing. Never. And I never appreciated like my family. I never appreciated like my husband. I never appreciated like my mom. Like it's been nice spending time with everybody and like um you know my mom's a widow and i just like realized like i'm like oh my god i haven't really spent time with her in the last couple of years like it's been nice like you mentioned too before like really spending time with people even though i'm going to be honest which i feel like you probably feel the same the the slowness is driving me crazy yeah, yeah it's different from our our previous our <laughs> right. lives before yeah. right yeah um, the slowness is, is the fly. Okay, you guys, as we're trying to do this interview, since we're doing it at my house, there's a fly going all over the place. <laughs> I hope I don't like eat it. Like, while no, I'm, like, I saw laughing. it like around right. me, but I was like, I don't know what I should do. <laughs> like, err. But um, I do feel like I want things to start moving. So, like, I'm ready. I think it will. It's, I mean, it did, and then it like <sighs> we went, went back. back. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. in Los Angeles. We were out of quarantine, kind of, sort of, and now we kind of went back into quarantine, sort of. And it's really hard for us, like especially here in LA, because <sighs> the weather's nice. The weather's we nice. Out, we want to go to the beach. Out. Yeah, we want to do. I know. Stuff. How have you been like trying to deal with like? Because you're a social person. Yeah, you're I very like, social. love it. Yeah, I actually like mi I miss parties. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a social. I'm person. not a homebody. Yeah, me either. So I know all. a lot of my friends who are homebodies are like, "This is easy. It's great. What are you complaining about?" Um, I shouldn't be complaining. I have no room to complain, but I am a very social person. I like to be out and about, so that's so hard for me. Yeah, because it's like we can't see our friends. Right. We can't like gather. We can't like have outings. We can't really do anything. So it is hard. I just try to talk to them, like FaceTime a lot. Yeah, Zoom, um, Zoom yeah, happy hours. Zoom. We had right. like Zoom parties. Um, yeah, really just like talking to them online right. yeah i mean it's weird a little bit it's a, it's a little weird we have to get used to yeah, it yeah we have to get used to it we just hang um, out i know you promote other people's products you you know you are glowtopia one, yes you guys oh my god when arika posted my product i almost cried because i love arika i love her makeup and you did it like i didn't even know you were gonna I do went, it like, you did it, and fun. I was so surprised because I didn't know. You never told me you were going to do it. It was like this biggest surprise. I almost cried because, you know, you make a product, and you don't think people are going to like it. You don't think people are going to buy it or talk about it. And when you posted it, I literally, it was no, such a great God. moment for me. You're so thank so you for cute. the support. Oh God, of course. I love the prickly pear. Yeah. Like, yeah well, we got that, more. Yeah. You could take, you oh, could take some. <laughs> Arika, I know you promote other people's products, but have you thought about launching your own product now that, like, you have all this time to think about? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I want to say it because I feel like when I say something and it like you doesn't know, happen, you get a chance. It is gonna happen, but I don't want to like say it. You know well, what I'm I mean? I'm happy that you. <laughs> I'm happy that you're thinking about launching your own product. Yeah, because I do feel like this is my thoughts on being an influencer, and maybe you could agree with me or not. My uh, thoughts on being an influencer is at some point you kind of like have to realize like, okay, what's my brand? And what else do I have to give? And I think a great way to do that is with a product, whether it's like, you know, a product like a makeup product or a skincare or a book or like a workout product or a clothes or outfit. Like, I think at some point influencers like need to like think about yeah, like, what else can I give? Yeah. Right? yeah and yeah, influence yeah, yeah. the world with their yeah. products. I mean, I've collaborated with many brands like Jessica Rich. I yeah. designed a shoe. I did sunglasses. By the way, I love Tom that. Yes. And shout out to Jessica. Uh, Jessica was supposed to be on our, my podcast, but she got COVID. Oh, and I know, but she's doing amazing now. So she's, yeah, yeah, she's better. I'm um, better. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. But I love her story too, because I met Jessica probably like the same time I met you. And she was a host. She had done a reality show. Yeah, and now she's she, so cute. She's so cute. Now she launched her shoe brand and she's killing it. Um, so congrats to her on that. But I love the collab you did with yeah, Jessica. Yeah, I did the shoe. I did sunglasses. Yeah, you Thomas did the collab James. with um, Artist Couture, didn't you? Or did you do I makeup did, club? I um, did Lily Lashes. Lily Lashes. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I had a lash that. with Lily Lashes. And I had a lingerie, like, robe line. Yeah. Yeah, I had yeah. all of that. But I think I'm going to do something else. 
Oh yeah, but I have a feeling like she's not say. telling me. Don't say it. I, I don't want you to jinx it. You see the evil eyes outside. I'm like Armenian super paranoid. But I have a feeling it's gonna probably be fitness. That's what I think. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> If not, you should think about doing something in fitness. Uh, I want to talk to you right now about like how people can shift their diet and fitness in quarantine. And I'm coming from a place of Erika lately. I'm gonna be really honest. I feel like I have like a, a slight mild case of depression. I can't get out of bed. I can't the life like I can't get out of bed to do a walk. I can't get out of bed to do a workout and I want to eat every hot Cheeto bag in sight. Like that's all I've been eating hot Cheetos because it's my guilty pleasure. I'm just like, what's the point? Yeah. So how do I get I out of this? Everybody goes through that. I think during this time, I think it's because it's been like four months, or five, like five. You got five months, almost five months, because end of the end of July. So right. it's been almost five months, and I think everyone has gone through that. Like there was a point where I kind of went through that because I moved um, houses, and when I moved, I couldn't do my Zoom workouts because I was like setting up the internet, and, like yeah. you know, figuring out where I'm gonna do my at home workouts. And but you have to think about it as like like your food is your medicine, you know, right. like let food be thy medicine. And I always think about it because whenever you eat the bad food, you feel bad afterwards, yeah. right? Like no matter what, like when like I eat that bag of hot Cheetos, it's not pretty. Like you feel yeah. like crap after, you know, crappy. and you don't want to good be, that second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> it's like instant gratification. You're like, mm, you know, and then the next day or the, you know, later you don't feel good. So you have to think about it like that. You eat like right. healthy, colorful, foods that make you feel good, you're gonna feel good the next right. day and you're gonna want to work out. And right. Then when you work out. Sorry, one second. Duke, <laughs> Duke, you guys, since I'm filming in my house, there's gonna be a lot of interruptions. Uh, let's put maybe, let's put, let's maybe, Duke, go. Why are Duke, you hey. so, he's so cute. Duke, <laughs> Dukey. <laughs> There's going to be a like lot of interruptions. What? It's a fly. It's Duke. My son's going to wake up and he's, we got to do this interview before Christian wakes up. Cause then it's like terror. He's so cute too. Duke, Duke. Oh, Dukey. I know he's probably like, there's, why are so many people at the house? Why are you home so much? He's probably like, what the hell? Um, okay. I like what you're saying, but food is your medicine. Yeah. So you have to just think about it as that, like, Okay, and then when you're working out, you want to feel good as well. It's not like you want to like work out and be like, oh, right. why did I eat the Cheetos? And like you're like making yourself mad. You know what I mean? So it's like you have to just consist consistently stay right. that way. Then you won't crave the the hot Cheetos. Right. I know. How do you? How do I get myself out of bed? There's days where I just you have to just be excited, and you have to also understand that this time i mean you're like to me like you are iconic like i like I look up you. to you so much but the advice that i could give you that why i jump out of bed in the morning is everything else outside of the world you can't control no so tomorrow it could be even crazier or it could be better right but you don't know don't know but right this is the only do, time that we don't know what what you can do for yourself you can control your own happiness So true. You can control your own health. You can control your body and like what you're doing right. for yourself. So what makes me wake up really early? I actually wake up super early. Like it's like what time I, do you wake I up? have nowhere to go. Five thirty. Wow. So I wake up really. What time early. do you sleep at night? Early, like nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to say. I'm like, oh my god, embarrassing. But I wake up early yeah. because I want to prepare for the day. And it's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm not right. going anywhere. Like. The, the farthest I go is my parents' house, you know? Right. Um, but I wake up early to prepare for the day, and then I, you know, I eat my breakfast that I get ex excited for, which is, like, just, like, oatmeal or, like, right. some fruit or whatever. Like, right. I eat that. Then I do my Zoom workouts. And, you know, I pay for the Zoom workout, so it's, like, I have to go. And we have a group of girls that I work out with. So I do that, and then, I don't know, I just continue my day, and I just know that, If I do my routine, I'll right. be happy for the rest of the day. You know, right. I can get my filming done or my blog done right. or whatever I have to do. It's just like you have to make yourself happy first. Right. You know, like the depression thing happens with everyone. I don't think, you know, I like there's this week I've been good. It's the last week was so hard. I don't know what hit me. Um, you know what it hit me hard? It's hardest? not just you. It's, like, it's everybody. Everyone. It yeah. hit me really hard during July 4th because I was like, July 4th, oh, we'll finally be able to. Malibu. Like, yes. <laughs> we and then they were like, 
we're shutting down. And that's when I was literally, I ordered ramen. I went and sat in my bed and watched 365 days over. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? That literally, I was like, this is not ending. Um, this week, I've been really good and excited. Just like even sitting here talking to you, like building this set in my house gave me a little it's bit cute. of like normalcy. Good job. Yeah. I gave, love me a, gave me a little bit normalcy. Like it's, it's, it's hard getting into this place of like, this is just a stage. Cause I feel like yeah. right now we're all like, is this even ever going to end? It, everything's temporary. Though. Right. You know, it might be a year. It might be, right. I don't know, five. It might be right. a month. We don't know. We but don't know. What you can't control anything outside of yourself. Right. You know, so that's how I think about it. You know, I just like, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get it done. Cause right. I know like if I work out and I eat healthy and whatever, like I'll be like ready. I'm not going to be like, oh. right. Yeah. It's well said. I'm going to actually take your advice. I'm going to try to wake up early in the mornings. I put my alarm at like five 30 and I don't wake up until seven. I just like literally hit the snooze. I'm just like, an hour what's, and a half. <laughs> what's the point? I need another 10 minutes ends up being until seven. Uh, that's when my kids wake up now seven. But That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to do that just because I have that time for myself. What is dreaming big to you? Dreaming big. Oh my god, that's like the theme of your podcast. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's so crazy because anything, everything in my life that has ever happened. I mean, I have so many more things, and I'm right. sure you do too. Has happened. Like it was like a little, uh, not a little dream. It was a really big dream that I thought was unattainable. Right. Anything that ever happened in my life was like. Oh my gosh, I'm probably never going to get it, but I mean, I didn't look at it in that way, right. but I was like, I wrote down goals that were so in my mind unattainable, but I was like, I don't care. I'm just going to write it down. Right. So that's how I see dream big as wow. it's like, whether you want to win, you know, an Oscar or whatever. I know you went to the Oscars, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm like, what, you know, I, God willing. Yeah. <laughs> um, whether you want to something that you think is like so wild, right? If you write it down and you work hard towards yeah. that, you'll get it. Like, I think anything in your life that you dream about and you want to manifest right. or whatever, it's going to happen. Right. It may not happen in the same way, way as you thought that of you it. Thought of imagine it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But it will. Like, see, I always wanted to be a host just like yourself. Um, and I always thought hosting was in this traditional way, like you said, the polished way. I never thought that I could have done hosting on my own, on my own terms, like having my own YouTube channel that took off, you know? Like, I thought hosting was always, so you're right. Like, sometimes your dreams do come true. It's just not in the way you yeah. imagine it. It usually isn't. Right. It's always like something yeah, kind of like right. crazy and like life throws you different things and you're like, oh my right. gosh. And then you're there and you're like, Wait, wow. this is something that I wrote down like 10 years ago. So and you true. thought like maybe it was kind of unattainable. Like, oh my gosh, like maybe it right. won't happen, but it does. That's the beauty of it. I want to ask you one last question before you head out because I think it's important. Like, how have you bounced back from a setback? Um, well, sometimes it's hard. You're like, oh my right. gosh, you get discouraged and then you start comparing yourself and you're like, oh, maybe it's like I just don't have it or whatnot. But something usually happens, like something just like, happens in the universe like right. you know and then you're like you know what this is a sign that I have to keep going right. usually it's like that um or you know I'll wake up if I'm like sad or like go to sleep sad wake up sad you know I was just like I'll talk to like my family member right or something like that that's like not part of like the entertainment industry that's kind of like kind of right. outside of it and like somebody that knows me at my core right and then I kind of just like figure it out like I kind of like I'm like you know what I don't need this certain thing, or I don't need to rely on something to make me happy. I'm like, I'm happy myself. So yeah. I'm just going to keep working. I love yeah. that. That's like something that we could take away from today's interview. You guys is love yourself. Um, you, you touched upon it a couple times in today's interview. And I think I'm going to take that with me. I, I've been working on it. It's a work in progress. I feel like loving yourself as a woman is a work it's in progress. It's so hard always. Right. You Cause like, we're pick, so judgmental yeah, like, about ourselves. Right, we're always picking and nitpicking, uh, but I'm gonna take that with me. Thank you so much oh for God, coming here. I want to hug you, but we're not hugging. We saw each other today. We didn't hug. Social distancing while we do this interview, and I'm so happy that you um, did this. Thank you so oh gosh, much, Arika, and congrats. You. you guys check out her blog, arikasato.com. Follow her on Instagram. Um, where else people can find you? Um, YouTube. So my Instagram is at Arika and then YouTube is Arika Sato. You can find me there. I have like workout videos, yes. recipes, blogs, 
and mostly day in my life at home right now, but like I do vlog a lot. Oh, I love you so much. Thank I you so much you. for coming. I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast, Dream Big. You can hear it uh, anywhere where they have podcasts or you can watch it here on my YouTube channel. Bye guys. Bye.